Evet, geçen hafta proje oluşturulmasını görmüştük. Bu haftada örneklerle devam edelim. Uh, today we will do some example from the lecture notes. For example, uh, about the indirect addressing, we saw before a piece of codes example, two example here. Uh, we can start from these examples. In here, move 20 hex, there is a sign 40 hex. After this comment, uh, 20 hex address will have 40 hex value. And then move R0 20 hex. R0 will be 40 hex because 20 hex has 40 hex value. Move 40 hex, there is a sign AB hex. For, uh, after this comment, 40 hex will be AB hex. In here we have indirect addressing. We have a value in the address pointed by R0. This value will be written to the A. R0 value is 40 hex. In this address we have AB hex. This value will be written to the A. Let's do this example now. Move 20 hex. That is the sign 40 hex. Please do this example by yourself. Move R0. What is the value? 20 hex. 20 hex. Move 40 hex. In here, maybe we can express again. The number will start a letter. If we didn't, if we don't write the zero, let's try it. And then move. What is the value? A. A. At sign and R0. If you compile this program, as you see here, we have an error, an undefined symbol. If we click two times, we can see the error line uh, in here. We have an arrow. If we write zero and boil it again, as you see, here we didn't have any error okay we didn't any error and then we can go to the debug session now okay the program will start from sjump x uh, in here we have a data ram data memory we can see the 20 hex address here and 40 hex address here let's execute the command step by step 20 hex address has 40 hex value now after this command we can see the changing r0 here and also as a default value bank 0 is selected so it's mean uh, we can also see the, the 00 hex address will change uh, according to the command. It will be 40 hex for our program. Okay, we can see here our 0 is 40 hex and also 00 hex has 40 hex value because it is in the same address. Yes. 40 hex value will be, 40 hex address will be AB hex, 40 hex here. Okay, we see the changing memory cell here. And then uh, we have an indirect addressing here. Uh, A will be AB hex. We know it. And uh, the changing of the A uh, can be seen in here okay
a is a b hex as you see in here we have an uh, infinite loop as a routine we can do this operation for all program as i said before okay in here we have an another uh, program comments maybe we can copy it from here this is an another uh, example maybe we can change the PSW value it's mean uh, we can change the bank value uh, how can we select the bank 3 for example for bank 3 PSW should be what uh, we can write one one for the third and fourth bit of the psw it's a binary it's mean 18 hex let's build it now but in uh, we are in debug session we have to quit of the debug session and uh, compile the program again uh, we have no error and no warning and then we can go to the debug session again okay the program will start as jump x again uh, and then psw will be 18 hex as you see here we can also see the uh, bank value from the rs tab in here we can see the three value it's mean bank three is selected and then uh, r1 will be 30 hex okay we are in uh, this line uh, what is the r1 for the bank 3 maybe we can check it before for the bank 3 r1 will be uh, 19 hex address okay r1 will be 19 hex address so if we do any operation on the R1 in bank 3, 19 hex will be changed. Okay, where is 19? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. This memory cell will be changed. Okay. As you see here, the value of the R1 will be 30 hex. We can also check it on the register uh, window. R1 is 30 hex. And then 30 hex will be uh, 30 hex address will be 20 hex. We can see the value of the 30 hex uh, in this uh, memory window. In here we can see the changing of the 30 hex it is 20 hex now after this comment what is the 40 hex value r1 points uh, an address uh, for us uh, and this address is 30 hex 30 hex address has uh, 20 hex value so 20 hex value will be uh, written to the 40 hex okay 40 hex address here we can see in this memory cell it will be uh, 20 hex as you see here it is 20 hex now okay maybe we can try for the indirect address as you know we can do an indirect addressing with the r0 and r1 only maybe we can try another register here r2 and r2 what will be happen we should uh, take an error from here uh, if we build this program as you see here we have an error 
here. If we try R2 for the indirect addressing, uh, we will take an error, as you see here, this tab. If we change it R0 or R1, it will be work. Okay, this is another important issue for the indirect addressing. In the last lecture, we clean the low RAM area by using the indirect addressing. Maybe we can do this example now and uh, we can change the bank value and we can see the changing operation. Okay, to do this, first of all, we have to write some value to the uh, data memory because uh, as a default value uh, we have already have 00, 0 hex value for all memory cell okay uh, so uh, we have to do a loop move r0 maybe we can uh, give ffx value Sorry, 7f, 7fx, move at r0, 0ffx, dj and z, r0, if it is not equal to 0, go to the x2 label where is x2 here <coughs> this program code three lines uh, will do uh, all low ram area memory cell will be ffx okay after these three lines and then we can clean all of them move r0 again 7fx move at sign r0 and it is 0, 0 hex and uh, dj and z r0 x3 and x3 x3 will be here should be here okay maybe we can try this program we don't have any error here if you write the program course we can go to the debug session after the compiling this program we can go to the debug session part again as you see here all memory cell has 00, zero hex value And uh, 7fx value is here. So uh, until this memory cell, all memory cell will have uh, ffx value after these three comments. Okay. Uh, let's check it. S jump x, and uh, we are in uh, x label. Uh, R0 is 7fx value, 7fx value will have ffx value as you see here. R0 will 7e hex after this comment and program will go to the x2 label. 7e hex and program will go to the uh, program here. Uh, program is in uh, fourth line. Okay, it will continue as like that. Uh, maybe we cannot try in this way. For this kind of operation, we can use the breakpoint. Now we want to uh, get this program will uh, uh, shoot in sixth line, right? For the sixth line, in here we have a we have an icon breakpoint icon uh, we can insert a breakpoint 
for this line. As you see here, we have a circle uh, highlighted with a red color. Uh, after do this, if you click this icon, program will go to the sixth line. Okay. Now I will do it. Okay. As you see here, program R, program is in this line, and all memory cell uh, in the lower RAM area will have FFX uh, besides the 00 hex, uh, R0 hex, okay? Uh, sorry, R0 register. It is not important because uh, we can only try to the cleaning the low RAM area. Uh, if we want to uh, give FFX value also for the R0, after this comment, uh, we should write also a comment R0 should be FFX. Okay, we can do it. But now it is not important for us. In the sixth line, program will uh, R zero will seven FX again. Uh, let's try it seven FX and uh, seven FX value will zero zero hex. This memory cell will have zero zero hex. 0, 0 hex, uh, R0 7E hex, and program will continue as like that. Okay, as you see here, all memory cell in this line uh, now 0, 0 hex. We can do the same uh, operation for this loop. Uh, to do this, we have to uh, give a breakpoint for uh, line 9. Okay, for line 9, uh, we have another breakpoint and cursor is here now. Uh, if we click run to cursor line, program will go to the infinite loop. To do this, uh, we should remove the, this breakpoint. Yes. Now we can try it again. Yes, as you see here, all memory cell will have 00, zero hex value now. Besides the breakpoint, we can do the same operation also. We want to go to the this line by the program. If we click this, cursor is in sixth line, as you see. If we click to curse, uh, run to cursor line, this icon program will go to the, this line. Maybe we can try another bank for the same operation. What will we have? Let's see it now. The cleaning of the RAM is about these three lines. So before this, uh, this three lines, we can change the bank value, move PSW for the bank one, for example, 0, 8 hex. Bank one is selected. Okay. Now we can build this program and we have no error and no warning. We can go to the debug part again. Let's try now. Until this command line, we can go to the this icon, uh, all memory cell will have uh, FFX 
and then bank one will be selected bank one is selected psw as you see here rs is one now and then uh, what will we get after the uh, cleaning low ram area program codes let's see it it will not finish as like that uh, so we have to go uh, maybe we can uh, execute the program uh, with this icon with this icon program will execute uh, consecutively besides us okay for this program if program will run until six, uh, line 6 all memory cell will have ffx if the program will continue with the bank 1 what will be happen uh, we know it until r0 or the bank 1 uh, will have the same value and then the other of them will have 0, 0 hex where is the r0 or the bank 1 0, 8 hex 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, after this memory cell all of it will have 0, 0 hex but before the R0, the value will remain the same value. Okay, let's try it now. Maybe we can run this program with this icon because if we click to this icon, program will continuously. Okay, as you see here, until the R0, program keeps the ffx value for the bank 0 but the other memory cell will have 0, 0 hex in here we have another important issue is that uh, after the 7 fx we have two memory area one of them is sfr area and the other of them is upper ram area 128 bytes uh, upper RAM area in here we can see the value some of the memory uh, ffx and the other it's 00, zero. Uh, we can see sfr area here okay not upper RAM area how can we know it uh, if you run this program uh, upper RAM area will have also 00, zero hex why because we use here we used here uh, indirect addressing mode from the lecture notes as you see uh, upper ram area accessible with only indirect addressing but uh, the sfr area can be accessible with direct addressing so the SFR area will remain the same value, values, but upper RAM area will change to the 00, zero hex. We cannot see here upper RAM area. Okay. And also we can check the program. Program will continue uh, with the infinite loop. Because R0 is uh, changing continuously program will not finished yes register indexing index addressing maybe we can do another example with this topic for example we can do this program
This program is about the take a value from a table and uh, send it to the seven segment display. Okay, seven segment display is uh, connected to the port one. Let's try this program. We have no error and no warning. Before the program, first of all, we can check the program memory. Or maybe we can check it from the memory one. Memory one is program memory. Uh, we have to have some numbers on the program memory, which is written in the table label. Okay, 3F, 0B, 05. Where is it? Yes, here, 3F, 0B, 05, 04, 6B. And it will continue as like that. Okay. The last value is about 80 and Fe is about as jump x x1. The last value for the table is 71. Maybe we can check it. Yes, here 71. So if we take the sixth number of the table. Uh, we have to write 06 hex for the A or 06 D. It's not important. It can be decimal or hexadecimal because 6 number is the same, uh, both of them. Yes, let's start the program now. S jump X and we are in X line. A will be 6. A is 0 now. A will be 6 and what we have for the data pointer after this program line what do you see what do you think what is the data pointer value after this comment okay after this program line data pointer will get uh, an address value the address value the related address value is about the first value of the table uh, as you see here 3fx value is in the memory where here what is the memory address of this value 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0f okay it will be 0f sorry 0a 0a address okay so data pointer should be 0a hex 000a hex in this section we can see the data pointer value as 00 hex before this comment and after this comment we get 0a hex value Okay, let's try it. Program will uh, program is in this line now, and after this comment, data pointer will have zero a hex. Why? The first value of the table is in this address, zero a hex. Okay, how can we know it? We can know from the memory window. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, A. A hex. Okay. What about this line? Data pointer will have 0, A hex, and plus with A. A is 6. And after this comment, what we get for A plus data pointer? A plus data pointer will have 6 plus A. What we get? 
10 hex, right? It will be 10 hex. So, what is the value in 10 hex? Let's check it now. Maybe we can easily see the 10 hex value as like that. Yes, 10 hex has 70 hex value. So, after this comment, A should be 70 hex. As you see here, A is 7D hex. Okay. And this value will be written to the port 1. Okay. How can we see the port 1 value? In here, we have a tab, peripherals. Okay. As peripherals. Uh, please click peripherals tab. And in here, we have input and output ports, IO ports, we can select the uh, user using port. For this program, we will use port 1. So, we can take a window, as you see, and as we said before in the lecture, all ports have uh, FFX value as a default value, okay? As you see here, port has, port 1 has FFX value, but after this command, it will be 7D hex. Okay. Yes, after this command, port 1 will be 7D hex. Maybe we can do another example here. It's about the take care of the or any number. Okay, in this program We have a program code, it's about the uh, taking square any number obtained from the port 1. Okay, okay, in here we have a comma error. Uh, let's write a comma also here. Okay, let's continue now. We'll go to the debug session part again. For this program, we will use port 1 and port 3. Port 1 will have already. We can also get the port 3 from the peripheral tab. Yes, here. We are in this line as shown x and we will go to the x line 3. Define the dptr value. Uh, the value of the dptr is not important uh, for us, but uh, we can check from the program memory. Uh, the first value is 00, zero and then 0, 01, 4, 9, 16, and then like that. So uh, it's about, uh, it starts from this memory cell. It is uh, 0F, 0E, 0D, 0C. So after this command, dptr will be 0C hex. Yes, it is 0C hex. Uh, for this line, we want to give a value from port 1, okay? As you see here, this window, port 1 has FFX. We can change the value of the port 1 by cl clicking uh, this part. For example, we can give 3 hex value or 3D value, okay? So after the command, program commands, uh, we have to get 9 value, square of the 3, it will be 9, so we have to get from the table 9 hex, 9d, okay? We can check it, in this program a will be 3, a is 3, and then dptr0c plus with 3, what will we have? 15, it's mean 
f 0 fx okay so what we have 0 fx as you see here from the memory uh, program memory it is 0 9 hex yes so a will be 0 9 hex this value will send to the port 3 also according to the question and then we will go to the take a value from port 1 again we can uh, change the port 1 value as 2 for example or 9 uh, we will get here of the 9 it will be 81 decimal right so after the program A is 51. This value is hexadecimal number system. So uh, if you convert 81 decimal to the hexadecimal, you will get 51. Okay. You can change the uh, memory window as decimal or hexadecimal. If you click one times, you can change its uh, decimal or hexadecimal okay